Good day, YouTube. Warbles on a lot here. Three of us put in two days, and I've put in a couple of more hours. Not measuring from the absolute outside of the rock. If we see, this is the five metre mark. Well, it be not perfect, but that's the ten metre mark, so you can say it's more or less ten metres in in that aspect. Well, if we pick that up and straighten the line. Oh, look at that. Exactly. Mickey Mouse. Right. That's good. Let's check a few more. Measuring across the opposite horn, we find that we're yeah, nine and a half metres 10 meters so yeah we've got a nine and a half meter circle hopefully it'll be big enough for a six meter yurt okay so from there Over to there, it's 10 metres. From there, to there, it's nine and a half metres. And this bit of it here, Sad to say that's nine metres. So the way I look at it, I basically, I need to get this section of the wall here and I need to just sort of nudge it and bring it over to about here. Because what I fear is if I don't do that, get it to line up with this, which comes more or less to there. See there, that's pretty much, if that's, that, that's where the top of that wall is, it should cross the gap here and the top of the wall should be here. And then come on down and join into there. Because the inner wall there, it comes along and it should be there, and this here should be the inner wall. And what I'm worried about if, if, if that doesn't come good is we'll stick the yurt on there and then we'll go to try and put its tent rope anchors into the pad and we're going to find ourselves running into the rock wall with the tent anchors or coming over here and having to try and put them down here it's just the idea of a six meter diameter yurt on a 10 meter diameter pad was that there should be two meters of pad on all sides of the yurt. And you know, my conceited staircase has already chewed up half a meter of that. So 
So I'm just trying to work up the motivation. To pick up the gloves. And go over and start moving a wall. Such is life, Ned Kelly. Said it, such is life. Okay, well I don't know whether this will work worth a damn. But the theory is to bring this across to here. So that means basically bringing it over to there. And I don't know whether you're going to get any sort of an idea as to how this works or not. But we shall see what we shall see. I have no idea why they thought it was a good idea to put a log in there, but anyway. Biker. Some poor silly Asian bastard in a call centre wanting to sell me some kind of a, a display in my home in Victoria where I am not. Somewhere in Victoria there is a person whose name is Lauren and Lauren habitually, regularly, <coughs> gives my phone number to 
other people. I mean, she's asked a phone number, I'm assuming, and she doesn't actually want to hear from the person who asks ever again. So she gives them my phone number, which is probably her phone number with one digit removed. So I'm constantly getting phone calls, reminders for kindergarten fees to be paid in Melbourne. I don't think this thing's working at fucking all.